hello guys welcome back to Charo fine thank you for tuning in for supporting a girl and yeah if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe join this amazing family and uh, please give me a like and leave a comment down in the comment section below and uh, today we're going to talk about my au pair experience well this is going to be a series i already did okay that was a random video i did early last year but posted it only i think in september i wasn't too sure i really wanted to post it but today because i didn't make any notes this idea just came up and i had the time so i said i'm going to do it so as some of you may know i I'm currently a student in France and uh, I came to France as an au pair and someone would be wondering what is an au pair. The au pair program is a cultural exchange program designed, it's designed for young um, youth, okay, who just completed high school mainly but it's not limited to that from the ages of 17 to 29 i think the limit is 30 and um the catch is that the au pair goes to a new country who speaks a different language from them and they learn a new language or they already have knowledge of a language but they want to improve in my case for example i studied french in high school and so i was quite interested in coming to france and that's why i chose the opera program and um because one i dreamt about studying in france and whatnot but that never happened after high school because Life led me elsewhere. I joined USIU in Nairobi and um, voila, two years in, I was joining my junior year. I found out about operating from friends at uh, Alliance Francaise. I went for a workshop and that's how I hopped on the train and started the journey. So I'm going to start from the beginning. How did I find out about operating? Um, as I just said, I met these girls at the workshop who happened to, who we became friends after that. And they were living from France that year, that was in 2018, February, it was the 13th of Feb, the day just before Valentine. And um, they talked about it and it was organized, it was a workshop organized by Campus France and um, they were talking about um, studying in France and I was considering that as an option for my master's after I finished my degree because I was in my junior year. So um, when I heard from them after that, they told me about this whole program, one of them was supposed to be going to Spain, the other one was supposed to be coming to France. I decided, okay, I might actually try this. I asked all the questions I needed to, and this is what I did. To find a host family as an au pair, you have to choose a country you want to go to, have to know what you want. And after that, okay, I'm gonna pause this. Once you've decided which country you want to go to, you should go on. There are different websites. There are also agents. For my case, France, you do not need to have an agent per se so that you can connect with host families in France. So I did the whole thing by myself. I kept going on this website. There's opair.com and opair world. And those are the websites I kept looking. There are other websites for appearing, but I got my host families from uh, 
opiaworld.com and after you create an account you're supposed to talk about yourself your child care experience you're supposed to add photos and this is some advice when you're adding photos don't go looking like a model and whatnot you should show because basically this exchange program is it's child care it's um okay it's cheap child care for families who are willing to welcome a foreign student in their home who would help them in caring for the kids like dropping them off at school on their way to school and um like picking them up from school when the parents cannot and um giving giving them baths playing with them basically the things a nanny would do but there are um, legal guidelines okay there are laws that are made to protect the program and that really differentiated from um, nannying yeah full-time nannying so yeah i went i made my account and i looked for families it took me like oh god from february to august i found a family in august mid-august i think it was the 13th of august and i just didn't care because it was in the south and for me it was france it's just france i was so excited i got a family i started the paperwork but it was blood and sweat i swear to you it is not easy finding a host family i don't know if there is a bias um or preference when it comes to host families i would say there is definitely something like that because they are families who would prefer european au pairs, au pairs that come from the european union that means they do not have to do paperwork and wait for issues like visa because sometimes au pairs would be denied visas and the families would be left with no option yeah they've been waiting for the au pair so yeah that's that and um yeah, it took me roughly oh god that's a whole six months six good months praying hoping sending messages every day and you you send families when you put up a profile and your start date you automatically get matching host families Host families that match your profile, so it's your duty to contact the families. Or they can contact you, but I would say contact them because the host families are getting more messages from au pairs who want to go. The demand, the au pairs wanting to to travel abroad are so many, and the number of families does not match. You see, it's not equal so the families get more messages so they have to filter and choose which ones and that's why you might not get a response from um, from host families even up to a month sometimes but some some hosts they take their time when they're actively looking so i would advise if you really want to go the peak season when they really need au pairs is september september because they need au pairs it's the beginning of the school year so maybe an old au pair is leaving or the kids are older they do not need a full-time nanny so they just need part-time child care so they now need au pairs and also in january janvier yeah january and um yes back to my whole process 
So during the time, because I had rules changed in March 2019, I think, for France concerning operating, what you would do, you would find a host family either on the websites or on Facebook groups. Yeah, that's important to note. Facebook groups, you just type au pair in France, au pair in Sweden, au pair in Norway, whichever country you want to go and join the groups and put out a post and reply to posts. That's how you're going to find hosts. And um, yeah, during my time, you would find a host family then you would sign a contract, discuss the contract with them. They will propose a contract. Most of the time, that's what it is. And it's for you to look at um, the contract and say, add things and subtract things, you know, um, things you prefer, things you do not prefer, things you agree, things you do not agree to, the working hours, your days off, these things you're supposed to discuss with them because when they contact you, when you talk, when you exchange telephone numbers, there's usually a video call, maybe a first, a second, and a third. By the third, you would maybe be accepted. And um, when you start talking about the terms, you should um, be very keen. Yeah, and I will link my other video. Although it's not well done, I think I'm going to redo it. I'm going to redo it more improved, sorry. <laughs> and um, yeah, after that, you've made a contract, you signed the contract, the family was mandated to take the contracts to a body called, um, uh, what's the name? What's the name? Okay, there's a body that approved the au pair contract, which I understand is not the case anymore. Okay, once the contract got approved, you prepared all your documents for the for the embassy to book an appointment with the embassy prepare all your documents go to the embassy for your meeting the entretien and uh, wait until you get your visa i'm not saying that you get 100 percent sure but what i know is that the denial rate for an au pair visa at least for kenyan au pairs coming to France, I haven't had once even one girl who has been des denied a visa as an au pair to come to France, so slight, a very small denial rate. And um, that's basically it. And uh, oh, that just went for my visa. It was a good, a fine Friday. It took the, it took ten days only to get my visa. Went on a Friday to the embassy. I picked my visa at eleven at midday. I had my flights to France that night. <laughs> oh God, I was too eager, but it wasn't a bed of roses, as it would seem. Yeah, and. I'm going to talk about um, uh, my experience when I arrived in France and uh, the do's, the don'ts. So check out for my next videos. Uh, thank you for watching and um, catch you on my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bisous.